Good morning! Started out today doing some finals because yes, I am still in school, which is kind of the worst. Um, but I would just like to say, I'm coming out to not just visit Grant, I had to bring him a battery to start this irrigation motor. And I had to bring him the battery out of the air compressor that he stole out of our forklift <laughs> to start this. So, this is me kindly asking everyone to pitch in a single dollar so that we can buy Grant some more batteries. Because apparently Sorry, he only owns I'm, one I'm and cheap. rotates it around to things. <laughs> buy several more batteries. They're expensive. starting this pivot moving here so that he can continue to plant. Grant wanted to get some drone footage um, and I don't know how to fly the drone, only he does, so I'm going to run his planter for a little bit while he gets some drone footage. Can you tell I've had a lot of iced coffee this morning? I feel excited. <laughs> Dad is leaving with a few cows to go get him worked at the vet, which means I'm all alone here today, at least for the morning time. I think it's warm enough, everybody. Yep, definitely warm enough. Since I got everything finished last night and we are done planting this seed, it is time for me to take a shot back and vacuum out every single inch of these planter boxes and then blow them out and uh, get them ready to plant regular commercial corn instead of seed corn. Now this is an individual row unit here and I need to clean out because there's definitely going to be some seed kernels in here. So I'm going to unlatch here and then this is just like a little door that opens but I'm going to take it all the way off so you can see what I'm doing here. Okay here's the seed plate that uh, the seeds get vacuumed into these little holes here and this turns and drops them. Um, so I'm just going to take my pliers here and this is the tricky part. Unscrew it. Come on. There we go. Okay, so I unscrewed this part. I'm gonna take the seed plate off and look at that. Can you see those seeds? Right there? So now I've just gotta take off uh, each of these little seed plates on the 12 rows that we had planting yesterday and make sure that all these seeds get cleaned out. Okay, before I do that, here's a quick little hack that I think my parents taught me this. So if you ever have an extension cord plugged into something like a shop vac, do this so that when you pull it either direction, 
the uh, the plugins don't come undone. You just tie a little knot and then plug them in. Life hack. Uh, that was a much dirtier job than I expected. I got dirt in my teeth. Ew. Hmm. Next step on the planter is putting all these seed plates back in and helping me have my little brother, David. Say hi, David. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta say 505, go ahead. Okay. I think he's just doing a radio uh, test. I forgot what I was gonna ask. <laughs> he does that a lot. Hey, cheers, bud. Hydrate with water, yeah? Yes. Got to stay. Hydrated. Yes. Mm. David and I are going to take this soybean planter and he's going to help me vacuum it out. Yep. Dave, you ever started a tractor before? I uh, know. I do not think I have. Today's the day. Just pressing the button. Oh, oh. There we go. Perfect. Okay, hop in. And oh, it's really hot in here. Just turn the key. Wow. All right. Simple as that. Yeah. <laughs> All right. We backed up the center fill planter. Now we've got our uh, shot back there. David is going to vacuum out all the seeds. Yep. It is so satisfying. It is very, very satisfying. This center fill planter is different from the box planter because the seeds all go in there, but there's only these tiny little boxes. So you don't have to do any seed shuffling really. It's kind of handy. So I'm just having David take off all the little lids so that he can, oh, well, you got it. So that he can vacuum out all the rest of the seeds in there. Kinda nice to have someone around to do all the scrub jobs, not gonna lie. Dave, do you know what that green stuff is? Dust. Uh, yeah, it's dust, but then it's also seed treatment that's covering the seeds. So that's why it's really important that you wash your hands afterwards and use soap. Yeah. So that it doesn't hurt you. Wash your arms, too. And then take a shower and you get home. Yeah. <laughs> nice watch. It matches your outfit. I know it does. It's Very awesome. cool. Mm -hmm. Big blue guy, huh? Green. <laughs> uh, David, is there anything you want to say to my YouTube audience? Um... Check out my YouTube channel. Oh, um, you I, you have a YouTube channel too? Yeah. I got okay. Like Hundred subscribers. Wow. Nice. Okay. Yeah. What do you do on your YouTube channel, David? Uh, gaming, and I'm growing a garden, so I'm putting that in. So. Wonderful. I do more like the big time farming on my channel. Mm -hmm. David's growing a little mini garden, so yeah. follow along on his channel, and I'll link it in the description. Awesome. Okay, Dad, aka Lead Farms, is spraying. And he has put David and I in charge of starting this pit. So, David, here's what we're going to do. You're going to open that box. Perfect. Good start. Okay. And this pivot has power to it. You see that? Yeah. That's good. So, what we're going to do is we're going to take this park angle off because we don't need one of those. Mm -hmm. And you are going to press, you see that 80%? Click that. There you go. And type in 100. It's the speed we're going to be going. Okay. There you go. Okay, and then press done and press start. Oh, wait. Yeah, uh, click reverse, actually. Reverse. That's start. start. And it clicked in, and that little circle turned green. We are running in reverse. Cool. That's awesome. Good job, bud. Thanks. Perks of dropping off David is that I get to say hi to these cute little doggos. Hey, baby. How are you? Um, if you guys haven't met Baxter and Cooper already, they're my parents' dogs. Mm. I love them so much. Um, I had so much fun working with David today. I thought that was super great. Um, uh, my, I do have a family other than uh, dad and Grant. I know that may come as a shock. 
Um, I have four younger siblings, um, and David is the youngest, and usually they're not at the farm because they are in school all day, and they're super, super involved. They do like every single sport and activity you could possibly do in high school. Um, so that's why they don't usually hang out with me. I don't get to see them very much. So David had the afternoon off today, and we got to spend it together, and I thought that was really awesome. So, <sighs> stay did not turn out how I thought it would. But it was awesome. I really enjoyed it. So, thanks for watching the video. And if you liked it, subscribe to me, subscribe to my dad, Lead Farms, and subscribe to my youngest brother, David, who I got to hang out with today. And I'll link both their channels in the description below. See you later.